So let's test some cells, shall we? Hi folks, I'm Roger from Wolfgrid, and in this episode we have received some cells from Shenzhen Yisha New Energy Limited. So I hope that I have pronounced the name of the company correctly. If I haven't, please forgive me. They sent us these cells to do a test and evaluation. So these are EVE 230 amp hour cells, they, and they do look quite familiar. We've used EVE 230s before and, and very happy with them. So these do look good. If I look at a few I don't see any issues I mean we've looked we've seen so many hundreds of cells he's quite used to it but uh, these look fine there, there are no bulges or anything like that to speak of so they come quite snug this one here uh, not, not bad slight uh, it, it is normal to sometimes have a slight slight bulge as long as they can compress close fairly well so no problems there initial impressions I'm I'm happy with what I see the studs look good so hopefully they'll we'll be able to tighten to a reasonable torque we talked to about six newton meters and we're happy with that and that can carry our sort of 200 amps that we run through a cell of, of this nature. So a 230 amp hour cell or a 280 amp hour or a 3, 300 or 305 or 3, 304, 320, whatever, they all can uh, easily accommodate a 200 amp discharge rate. Most of them can accommodate also 200 amp uh, charge rate, although it's very rare that you would charge them that fast, usually a maximum of about 100 amps. So happy with what we see there. We are going to get these onto, we'll just wire them up in parallel with some bus bars and get a charger, a 3.65 volt charger onto this and just let it run. It's going to take several days uh, in fact to fully charge these and then we'll capacity test each individual cell to see what, what they all produce. The temperature here is uh, roughly 6 degrees centigrade. It's gone up to 8 degrees now, it was 6 earlier. So just to mention that we wouldn't in all fairness to the supplier we would not capacity test these at six degrees centigrade. So we have a, a booth that we built, very elementary one with insulated walls and roof, and we'll run a heater in there to bring these up to around about 20 degrees centigrade. Test If you're going to test these cells, you should really test them somewhere between 20 and 25. So we find at 20, that's absolutely fine. And that will be fair on the supplier to have these at that kind of temperature. Uh, so let's get to it. We'll put them in parallel and uh, charge them up and put them into the heating booth. So we're charging at about 7.4 amps. That's going to take quite a long time to bring these to a full set of charge. Assuming that they are about 30% set of charge currently that's going to take uh, several days to bring these to full state of charge. Uh, right so we have a green light, we green to go, gone green to indicate that the cells are fully top balanced. So this has actually been on here for about four or five days. Very slow charge, in fact this thing slowed right down for the last day or two to about two or three amps so uh, really slow but it has brought these cells up. Let's uh, get a, a, a voltmeter on there. They should be pretty much exactly 3.65. Three, hey, precisely, in case you don't believe me, I'll show you. 3.65, exactly. And this is quite accurate. We have um, uh, calibrated this with some fancy equipment. So they're 3.65. They've been sitting there for quite some time. I know the purists will say we should have put positive here and negative there, but actually uh, when you're top balancing, it doesn't really matter because at the end, uh, for several hours, it's, they're going to be completely uniform voltage, fully charged, accepting no more charge. To be fair on the supplier, we need to bring these up to anywhere between 20 and 25 degrees centigrade. The ideal is 21. 20 or 21 degrees centigrade. So we are going to be uh, moving them from here into our temperature booth, a temperature control booth, and bring them up to a nice temperature, let them sit there probably for uh, at least 24 hours, get nice and toasty in there, and then we are going to connect individual cells to four different testers that we have and see what they pull. So let's get to it. So continuation of <coughs> testing of these cells. We've put them into our heating booth. So this is just an elementary insulated thing with polystyrene. We have a 
little heater running there with a temperature probe and the four cells are nice and toasty. We've got them up to about 20, 21 degrees. So the test will be fair now. Have uh, four testers, one on each cell. So we've set the testers to about a five amp discharge, roughly five amps. And so that's going to take a while for this test to run. It's a fairly low discharge rate that we're testing at. So they should all reach 230. They didn't swallow when they were charged. General condition looked good. Now if they reach that capacity, we'll be happy to recommend them. But let's see what they do. So our four cells have completed their individual capacity tests. So let's open up and see what they've done. Right. Cell number one, 227.75, so slightly under the stated capacity, and this was on a slow burn of 5 amps. Cell number two is exactly 230.42, so this is METS capacity. Cell three is actually quite disappointing, 224.51. Uh, it's quite a bit below what we would want it to see. Cell four is quite a bit higher, 235.04. Of the four cells, two have met capacity, one quite a bit more, and two have not met capacity, one of them quite a bit less in capacity. So far, um, I would have liked to have seen all four cells meet capacity because when we've tested EVE 230 amp hour cells in the past, they have all met and surpassed capacity. So a little bit disappointed. This test, as you can see, was done in this heating booth. The cells were warmed to about 20, 21 degrees centigrade. The whole test was conducted at that. So the temperature is really warm in here compared to the, the ambient temperature outside. So we were fair on the cellar of these cells in terms of heating them up properly to do the capacity test. <clears throat> what we will do next is uh, we'll take them out, disconnect all the individual testers and uh, uh, we'll recharge them, actually build them into a battery, recharge them and then do a capacity test as a completed battery. See how that goes. The final capacity test has completed. Let's see what it is. 230.01. So these have pretty much the exact stated capacity is what they have met, which is a good thing. So the cells are right down to 10.8. So we ran them down quite slowly. You need to charge them now. But what would have happened is, as you would remember during the test when we did the individual cells, there were some higher and some lower. So the active balancer in this particular BMS would have done its job and uh, kept them in sync and transferred power from one to the other. So that's how we have actually met the capacity. Capacity. So up to you, the, the, they are fairly inexpensive. As we've said, we've got the link down below. Quite inexpensive. They haven't swollen when they were charged fully. They haven't swollen discharge. And uh, on a slow burn discharge, they have met capacity. So right, folks, we have finished both the capacity tests. So we tested the individual cells. Some came higher than the 230 amp hour stated. Some came lower. Then we did a capacity test uh, by putting them together as a 12 volt battery. And that was 230.01 amp hours. It was on quite a slow burn, a five amp slow burn. And the cells were heated to about 20, 21 degrees centigrade. And so the test was fair. As a pack, they have met their stated capacity. Individually, some were a bit lower, some were a bit higher. Just to remind you was uh, Shenzhen Yusheng uh, New Energy Limited. Again, if I've mispronounced it, forgive me. You will need to decide if these are worth it for you to, to bring in. As I said, they did they did meet their capacity as a battery. They didn't swell, they didn't heat up, and physically they're in, in good nick. So not, not bad. At a, a fairly attractive price of $65 plus shipping, I think it's probably quite a good deal. We just thought we'd take you through the facts and figures and the fact that as a battery pack, these have actually met their capacity. If there are any things that you'd like us to test or try out, please let us know in the in the comments. Be handy if you subscribe, especially if you give it a like because then it just uh, gets put on more people's radar. So thanks. See you in the next episode. Cheers.